All right, ladies, barbell squatting. It can be intimidating at first, especially if it's your first time getting into barbell work. So I'm gonna take you through the steps from the beginning, through the end, through the squat, to get you set up and feeling confident with a barbell squat. So, number one is setting up your rack. First of all, you want to have the level of the barbell set up so that when you get underneath the bar, you your legs are a little bit bent and you have room to stand up and step back and clear the rack. If, depending on your barbell, or depending on your rack, sometimes the levels are either a little bit too low or a little bit too high. If you have to choose between the two, always better to go a little bit lower. If it's too high, then you're going to have to get up on your tippy toes to get the bar back, and you don't want to do that. You could potentially injure yourself. So if you have to choose between a little too high or a little too low, go lower. But again, you want to set up right here at a level where you're not quite squatting, but you've got some room to stand up with the bar. Then you want your safety arm set up at a level that you're able to dump the bar, if need be, especially if you don't have a spotter. That way, if you find yourself getting stuck at the bottom of the lift, you can dump the bar off. But you don't want it to be so high that you're not able to get down into the squat. So, if I was here, and I'm squatting, I can get parallel, and the bar isn't going to hit the safety rack. And if I need to, I can dump the bar off if I get stuck at the bottom. If it was any higher than this, I would be hitting them before I get into the squat. So you just want to figure out that level for you and get everything set up before you get into the squat. Next is the actual squatting pattern. So I always recommend starting with the bar first once you're moving into barbell work. Of course, if you're not quite at the level of using a barbell, start off with dumbbells, the motion is going to be the same and you're going to hold the dumbbell in front of you and do the same thing. Once you get around 35, 40 pounds, you're gonna find that it's harder to actually hold the dumbbell in front of you and then it's time to move into the bar which weighs 45 pounds by itself. So, set up, you'll get yourself underneath the bar. You should be resting on your traps. You don't want the bar up here on your neck at all. You should be on your traps, squeezed in there between your rear delts and your trap muscles right here. You've got your arms out at a comfortable position. You want to make sure that you lock them in. You don't want your wrists to be rolled up like this and be locked in nice and tight. And you're going to lift up Take one step back, a small step, take a bigger step, and then your third one gets you set. It's gonna take a little bit for you to get used to unwrapping the bar. That's okay if you hit the side at first. No biggie, everybody does it when they're learning. But you'll take those small steps back, and then for the squat, you want your legs to be set up with your feet a little bit wider than hip width. Always toes slightly pointed outward and our knees are going to track slightly outward as well. Chest up, big breath in, core tight. Make sure that you don't have a hyperextended back. So I don't know if you can come get your side here, but when you're standing, don't be like this. Don't be squatting with your back super hyperextended. You want that core nice and tight. And start off with a with squatting to a bench. So have a bench set up and you'll sit back, chest up, knees out, sit into that bench and back up. That's going to give you the confidence to get lower into the squat. You're going to know where your set stopping point is and just help you develop the right pattern for movement. So sit back, sit back, back, back. You're going to work on just lightly touching that bench. Accelerate back up, chest up, knees out, feet slightly pointed outward, back, push up. Once you're getting comfortable with that, that's out of my way, and you're ready to move into regular squatting, you can continue with the bar or you can load weight. Always start off gradually working your weight up. 
So you can grab your five or 10 pounds and then you grab 25 pounds. Put your plate on, always use a safety clip, lock it in there. When you're loading up weight, if you're using multiple plates, until you get to 45 pounds, you're fine to load up one side, but once you get past that, you want to do it evenly. So if you're putting on, you know, three 10 pound weights, do a couple on the side, load a couple on that side, back to this side, that way the bar is not unevenly weighted, it can potentially topple over on you. So just a good practice to be in is going back and forth from each side when you're loading up the bar. And that one on. So get the bar set up, make sure that you're in the middle, down underneath. Bar out those traps, wrist tight, elbows forward, chest up, big breath in, core is braced. Step up, small step back, bigger step back, then I'll set myself up. My toes are slightly pointed outward, my knees are going to track slightly outward as well. Sit back, try to get parallel, and then I'll push up, chest up, squeeze at the top, course tight, back down. back up. You wrap the bar, take your step forward, then just crash it into the bar, back down, and you're done. That's barbell squatting.